fine weirdos. Christopher. Let's check out the 2014 Canero Alice. This is a Grenache Blanc out of Paso Robles. Nice. We're Canero fans. This is Anthony Yount's wine here. $22, 13.5 alcohol by volume. Yep, really low production. Beautiful in the glass. Yeah, pale yellow. Yeah. <sighs> As I've expected from Canero, I, just that quick whiff, and I can go on about this nose. Beautiful citrus pear melon angle with a, the slaty stones of the Templeton Gap are coming off on the nose. Wow. A, almost a mustard seed, like I'm walking through the mustard seed field on an April day. It's a very floral, spring-like wine. It's, it's, um, it's really lovely, very graceful, very round wine. No alcohol present at all. Just, I'm really enjoying just the lush fruit. Um, it is more on the medium to almost heavy, heavy bodied mm -hmm. side, but I think Viognier fans would love this. Yeah, but it's when we say medium bodied, I think the fruit is showing a hand that's really exceptional. Mm -hmm. It's the mineral and pithiness, it's, it's the tour plates, the slate soils that mm. are really making this mouth coating. And then the citrus is just rolling over. Mm -hmm. And I'm liking the pear and stone fruit play with the perfumed element. It's, it's, it's quite elegant, but like you said, it's coating the mouth like a medium body wine. It's elegant and there's something, there's something delicate and very beautiful and lovely about mm -hmm. it, but it is mouth coating as well. Mm -hmm. Very cool wine from Canero. We'll be back with more on Wine Weirdos. Cheers. Cheers.